Hello there, Master Hellish here. Welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play. Now here is Hellishville. It has been growing now for 11 months in a row, and I kind of want to keep that up. Now the thing that's worst off here at the moment is uh, fruit. We need a lot more fruit coming through. Now we have got fruit coming through from over here. Um, but uh, we haven't got any aircraft sat here waiting to collect the fruit. So we need to clone some aircraft. Now it looks like we've got it. Oh, let's carry on the game. We've got a couple of aircraft circling around coming home again. But I don't want there to be a gap. I'd rather have too many than not enough. This is not about making profit. It's about um, making sure that we get the, the, the goods, in this case the fruit, to where we want it to be. Now we've got a problem down here. It says waiting for path. That's fine. That's just a train that can't get in a station. Um, you know, it's it's just loading. That's fine. That's not a problem. Just checking out. Uh, where are we? We are here. I love this part of the network. This part of the network to me is really nice. We've got the lots of little hubs all come together to provide all the different services. Right now, so in Hellishville, um, this track here it's kind of getting in the way a little bit. I don't the, with the frequency of the trains we've got going through. I don't see the need for this to be tunnels. Okay, this can be one big tunnel. So let's raise that land up, pop the tunnel back in. They're expensive, they're big, um, but it doesn't matter. We can have a couple of trains going under either side. It's, I don't want to strangle the city. It needs to keep growing. Train 55 is having a problem. I think, again, it's just because it can't get into a station. That, that again, is is fine. Now, up here, we put this in last time at Nuddington Holt. And I can see that we've got still quite a lot of scrap metal that needs to be shifted. So, got to be careful not to put too many road vehicles here throw another 10 in. We don't want to um, clog this station up uh, and we don't. Or we also don't want to um, stop the other vehicles, these vehicles, whatever they're doing, um, doing these small amount of recyclables. Um, oh, that reminds me, the recyclables. How are we looking up here? So we're pulling through, the trains are coping with the amount of recyclables. In fact, the, the trains are queuing up. Um, I don't know how we're coping with the amount of recyclables. We've got tons and tons there. Um, and the trucks are just queuing luck to shift it. Right, it's time to upgrade these truck stops. What we're going to do, controls X, bring up the menus for transparency. We're going to turn stations on so we can see that. We're going to spend a bit of money. We're going to remove all that. And you're like, what, Hellish, what are you doing? We are going to expand out both ways like this. No, no, no. Oh, do I have to go? Is that? Ooh. I can't flatten the land there, can I? I can flatten the land there. Brilliant. So what should happen here is that when I realize that I've put bus depots in, then what we do is we remove those bus depots. I can't believe I did that again. It's a very easy thing to do. They, they look similar. They look very similar. There we go. Um, what we might have to do is put a one-way street in here. This down here, this is no good. This is land height problem. So let's see if... We, can we raise that land height up and join it on? Or am I going to need to... No, oh, we're good. Uh, if we put one-way streets here and here, and that should help. Uh, we we can then increase the loading speed here. Uh, the only problem is we can't, because of these trucks, we can't put the one-way sig uh, signal in. Uh, there we go. Uh, but they'll soon be shifted and we'll be able to put... There we go. There we are, plenty of room now. That's a... That's a fine upgrade that is there. Come on. One way. One way. There, there, there. Come on, we don't want to come back through the wrong way. Oh, the t that piece of road is owned by the town. Well, it's not owned by the town anymore. I deleted it. 
There we go. Right, okay, so that's an upgrade to that station. They've all shifted through a lot quicker, which means we can actually probably get some more trucks going through there. Clone, 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 clone. Let's send another 15 at it. There we go. This is going to get really busy down here. I mean, it is really busy, but that's fine. Um, what? Where's the one over here? There it is. We've got... Oh, we've got thousands there. Absolutely thousands. Right, we can't have this slanty bit here. Um, we're going to try and get the land height down without the town hating us too much. Um, can't clear this area. Oh, that's the actual thing. Okay, we're going to try and clear this. No, the local authority refused to allow it. We might only be able to double this one. Which... Yeah, you know, it's, it's all right. It's better than nothing. Uh, I want the road to go up here. There we go. I'm not sure about making this bi-directional. We'll see. The problem here is, is that they're going to have to turn around, and those ones can't. But once these vehicles are out of the way, I should... There we go. There's. I'll put the T-junction in. Right, that one's doubled. So we should get better throughput there. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's small. Yeah, well, there's not a massive amount of recyclables waiting there. But I am going to throw a few more vehicles at it, because there is a little bit more that needs to be shifted. Right, well, how are we doing? Is the town still growing? Yes, 16 months in a row. Uh, fruit is still quite low. Petrol's not great, but everything else looks all right. Food's dithering a little. What I'm doing now will help food. Um... All these road vehicles, though, that keep getting stuck. Hmm. And the problem is, if I want to move something here... Breakfast. If I want to move something here, I can't because there's always a vehicle in the way. Oh, we've got a gap here. We've got a gap here. Here we go. Brilliant. Uh, they're going to have to go another way for a second. <laughs> no, like that. Brilliant. Just doubling some bits up of the road to give them more options. There's no reason why this road here can't come across. If we can create like a web night like network um, to allow for other options, this look at this. Just a massive row of vehicles. That are stuck. I don't know if we need to replace any of the vehicles. Um, are any of them getting old? Doesn't look like it. Let's replace vehicles. So they're all the universal future truck. Every single one of them. All 354. Okay, well, we're going to leave that for now. We're going to set the transparency back. Um, back to Hellishville. We're up to 12,000 now, which means the requirements are higher. Fruit is struggling a little bit. Petrol's not doing that great. That reminds me, how are we doing up here with the engineering supplies? Because we really need to have a look. So we do have some engineering supplies now um, starting to stack up at this station. Not many, though. Uh, these oil trains, when they're coming in, they need to be taking engineering supplies back with them. Um... And to do that, they need plenty of engineering supplies. And I don't think they're really getting the deliveries very much. How are we looking over here? See, look. We're maxed out now. We we need to bring in... Ah, see, what I was also doing all this. So what I was doing up there was I was increasing the amount of recyclables being brought in um, to increase the amount of manufacturing supplies. But that also does the scrap metal, so that's good. Uh oof. Pushing now, really starting to push. Um, hopefully the extra trucks over here will start pulling through all that extra. Look at all these trucks lining up. Um, still 2,000 tonnes at that industrial park over there. This one, still got 2,000 at it there. So I'm hoping the increased throughput is better. Uh, what can I do? Oh, let's go double check the fruit situation. We've got a few aircraft here. They do appear to be all flying very slow. Ah, here we go. Look, so the, the aircraft are now backing up. We've got too many aircraft, which is fine. Uh, these fruit plantations are just going to start producing a little bit more fruit. Um, 
That one's gung ho. Yeah, they're all gung ho. They should be gung ho. And that one's enhanced double, but we're about to get a delivery. I think that's just the speed of the of the um, farm supplies coming in. We only get 36 from that harbour, so that's that's the best we can do. Right then, um, looking at the network. That's let's look at the network and see if there's any issues with it. So here's the map. If we turn town names off and go to trains. You can see all the red lines, and wow, look at the dots. Look at the little yellow snaky dots. There they road vehicles. But the trains are the red lines, and it looks like there's a lot of trains around here, but there's a lot of station around there, so I'd expect there to be a lot. I'm not really seeing anywhere where it looks like we might have a blockage, except at food pickup, but... Again, I'd expect a long line of trains to be waiting to shift the food. Uh, how many... We've still got a lot of recyclables down here, so... Uh, let's go clone train. Let's have a couple of trains. Get this station filling up with uh, trains constantly. So we've got a couple of new trains coming through. We need to make it so that every platform has a train flowing into it constantly, all the time. And I think we need one more train to do that. Constant flow of trains. So that's that one. Where's the other one? The other one isn't providing for our food network. Uh, there is one down here. This is for the goods. Uh, is it? Is that for the goods? No, that's just bringing in manufacturing supplies. Slimeway West, yeah, we've got thousands and thousands of recyclables there, but we've got the problem where the trains need to wait each for each other a lot. Um, and I can't think of another way of doing this. I suppose I could add a third tunnel if I deleted some of the town. Maybe a fourth, but then getting the track round would be difficult. I think it might be worth it gonna give it a go so let's say sorry town uh, we need to do some expansions and let's see how far it lets us go oh we have actually managed to put an extra two in so if I go tunnel unable to excavate okay so we've got the same problem here town let's try again let's have a look what's it saying we can't excavate that bit of land there. If I want to put that little bit of land down here, I can't because of that building. And they refuse to allow it. Why do you refuse to allow it, Slamway? Because I'm medium. Oh, all right, then let's give him some money. Uh, bribe. Yeah, there we go. I'm good again. Let's delete that building. Which one was it? This one. Brilliant. Excavate. Let's make the land equal here. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of that house. And that road. There we go, that's much better. And that road. Ah, they refuse to allow it. It's fine, we can we can work around that. Get that tunnel in quick. Okay, so we're just doubling the track up here because we can't put decent junctions in. Uh, let's flatten that out. You know what? Slightly west, if I just rotate the station round, we can make this a lot better. A lot better. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate it around. I'm not sure. I mean, what's the catchment area like? We need to be. Ah, you see, the catchment area is there. I mean, if we just moved the station over here, oh, they'd still hate us. Right, okay, well, another bribe. It's bribe day today. Okay, uh, this house. We got rid of this house. We could put a brand new station in here. And it'd be the same station. 
So if we do track out like this, there we go, here we go. We're actually building track. I'm just hoping that our town's growing in this time, still. We'll put one depot there, and then this track can come down here into this station, and then we'll kink it earlier, and then this one will connect in as well. So let's remove that track there, because there's, there's no one there right now. Bring it up, bring it out, bring it up, bring it out. Now we've got a train that's stuck, needs to go this way, turn around train. Oh, it's going that way anyway. Oh my goodness, what a mess. There we go. Oh, stop, stop. I thought we was going to have a train crash. Okay, delete that. There we go, right. Those trains can carry on now. Brilliant. So now we've just got a couple of trains who are stuck. But that's not a problem. Well, it shouldn't be a problem anyway. Uh, do I bring those all the way? Yeah, let's bring those all the way. Line those up. Tunnel, tunnel. Now, how do I handle this? I'm thinking, I'm not thinking well enough. Oh, here we go. Natural solution. Pop. So we go like that, pop that there. Get that through here and just join it up. And... Think can we we can't go diagonal, we're gonna have to move that signal. There we go. New signal in here. And then should be able to just do something like I'll flip. Bit of hillside in the way. There we go. That's it. They can go home the other way there. Ah, oh, there's a bit of a kink in the track. I didn't notice that. Could have tried to use that little kink to our advantage. There we go. So now the train can decide which way it exits. Let's see here. Ah! Right. <laughs> so much going on while I'm just doing this one bit of track. This is what the problem... When you get a network this big... Right, uh, how are we going to fix this? Because we haven't really got the room. We don't want a 90 degree turn. Uh, we're going to do a temporary exit. Get rid of all the trains. And then... We'll come back and fix this station. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change its orientation. We got deadlock? No, we just got a broken down train. I thought we had deadlock there for a second. Um, right, okay, how are things going? Still growing! We're still growing. Um, fruit is still a very fragile situa situation. Uh, food and petrol still looking a little bit like they need some support. Uh, over here, though, we are coping with shifting everything we need to. Um, this industrial park still has a relatively large amount of recyclables at it. Uh, what about this one? Yep, you do as well, but you're, you're fitting the vehicles through better now, so um, it's time to get another one of these road vehicles. Let's get another 15 going over there. I'm not sure... Oh my goodness. As soon as one breaks down, this whole network falls to pieces, but... How busy it is! Now, uh, let's get the one-way signals all the way down here. Oh, we can't. There's road vehicles in the way. Because 
because I believe that you actually have to have the road signs down all the way for them to then use them and take over other road vehicles that are broken down, which would help massively. There we go. So I don't know whether that's what's happening here. I haven't seen an example of it, but there's... Um, See there, there. Looks like one's broken down there, and they're not overtaking road vehicles. Not my area of expertise. Quote Master Hellish. Does look like it doesn't matter. We'll find out. We're using this road as a test bed. Here we go. So I think that is pretty much every square along here. I've just got one there. Yeah, look, they're breaking down and they're not going round. I have no idea why they're not going round. Um, what was I doing? I was finishing this down here. I just needed the trains out of the way. Where are we? We are here. Okay, so the trains are probably out of the way now, which means we can remove this bit of track here, 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 and get rid of this track here. Then we'll get rid of the station here, uh, and then we'll shift it and put a new station in, four tracks, uh, this way. So we're just going to delete that track there and put it in here. Nice and neat. Look at that. Look at that. Between the two stations they have the catchment they need. There we go. So in theory we can now accept trains this way as well. In fact we've got a train coming this way already. Uh, and it should still be in the catchment. So this station here, yeah, it's still still getting recyclables. The rating for recyclables is poor. We need to get more trains. Um, right, fair enough. Let's do it. Let's clone that train, and we'll get a whole small fleet of them. They'll spread out throughout this new network. That's an interesting way of solving that problem. I'm boxed in by rail, by towns, by roads, and this sheep farm, it's it's quite difficult, but never mind. Right, Hellishville, what's the situation? We're at nearly at 13,000. We've been growing for 29 months in a row. Fruit st still feels fragile. Latest results have come in. We're down to 26% storage on that fruit. Come on, bring that fruit in. Those aircraft are on their way. Look, they're all getting really slow. They're, yeah, it's too far for these aircraft to go. Maybe we need to find faster, better aircraft. But I don't think I can. Maybe they need a, a service stop off part way. Let's, let's do that. So, Hellishville is down here. There's the airport that they go to. You can see... Well, you might be able to see there's a line of white dots between this and the, uh, this airport here and this airport here. So halfway, about here, look, they're still going good. So if we put down a massive airport, hub airport, intercontinental, like that, there. Oh, hang on a minute. Try again. There. And then what we can do is we can change the orders of these guys to say, well, actually, you go to Neddingfield, you full load, and then you come here and, and service. Then on the way back, uh, you come here and go to that hangar. So now any aircraft leaving the Hellishville halt will come to this airport and any aircraft leaving Nuttingfield Airport will service at this airport. Now, the, I think the order just said to go there. I don't think the order said and service. No, it just says go to the hangar. So you go service at and then service at. Having those services either way should help the speed of the aircraft and stop them doing this and going ridiculously slow. Um, where are we? There. There it is. So we've got plenty of aircraft waiting there. Look, it's going slow, coming back really slow. That's no good. We want them to go speedy fast all the way. Let's just check we haven't got like a new aircraft we can use. So we need cargo type uh, ones that can do 
fruit. Yeah, it's just the one aircraft. Well, there we go, folks. Uh, we're keeping things rolling. We're keeping things moving. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to improve, tweak, and expand to keep Hellishville going. But now we're up to 13,500, and we are still growing. So there we go remember to if you're playing along save your game every five years and you can send that save to me get in contact via discord or facebook and we'll sort that out uh, if you're not currently playing please do consider playing along um i've done 50 episodes um i don't know how many hours of gameplay i've gone into this but i reckon you could probably catch up at the end of this series i'll be looking more at what you guys have done as well i will do a few extra special videos to see how you guys have got along through your journey as you played along this game with me but that is going to be all for now remember i do do uh, events and live streams including open ttd so keep an eye out for that on social media and my websites and stuff and i will see you soon take care thanks for watching and for now goodbye